I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a cargo container ship. I come over here on the left in the middle and I put one finger in a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, straight line, keep going, keep going, keep going, and leave it floating. I come right back here and I draw a curve line down and another straight line, keep going, keep going, keep going, and leave it floating. Right at this point, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. I come back to my dot. I'm going to draw a slightly curved line over, curve line down, straight line over, keep going, curve line up, straight line and leave it floating. I come back to where I stopped. I'm going to draw a little straight line down. Curve line in, out, straight line, straight line connect, straight line, straight line connect. Okay? Come up to the top over here on the left. We're going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. One more. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Right here, we're going to draw straight line up, curve line, straight line down, connect. We're going to come up on top and draw skinny rectangles, straight line, straight line, straight line. Come over here on the left of that, we're just going to draw a little skinny rectangle, straight line, straight line, straight line. Right here, we draw a straight line down, straight diagonal down, connect, and inside, we're going to put little boxes if you have room. Come down to the next space, little boxes or little squares if you have room. Little boxes, little boxes if you have room. Okay? Now, Come all the way over here on the right. And we are going to draw one, two straight lines. Come over to this one, extend it a little bit, straight line over, straight line down, one, two, three baby circles. Starting right here, we're going to draw a straight line up straight line down, connect. At the end of this baby circle, I'm going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line up, connect. Now, right here along this edge, we're going to draw a straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, connect, Straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, connect. Okay. Now we draw, come over to the left, draw me a straight line down. Straight line over, jump over, don't draw through your drawing. Keep going. Straight line down, connect. Inside, we're going to draw a straight line, straight line, Straight line, jump over, straight line. We're going to come back to the left. One, two straight lines. One, two straight lines. Leave that space. Let's do one, two straight lines. Jump over. One, two straight lines. I think that's all. Okay, all right, now, let's see if that's everything. Oh, yes, come up here and just do a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, down here, curve line, curve line. 
Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put my cargo ship in some water. So I'm going to take my blue-green and I'm just going to draw wavy, wavy lines all the way across and down, starting on the left, all the way over to the right, come over here on the left, wavy lines. These are huge, gigantic ships. So they take up a lot of space. Okay? I'm not going to color that in. I'm just going to leave it like that. Next, this is my mo uh, my rotation motor. I'm sure there's a name for this. And I'm going to color this bottom shaft part red violet. Okay? So that brings that all the way down and around. You'll do a better job than me. Now this is interesting because the ships are all very colorful, but this is below the water. Okay? You're seeing it because I'm letting you see it, but if you were actually with a actual cargo ship, you wouldn't see that. It would be underneath the water. Next, this part you would see part of. This is the main part of the ship. And I'm using just my regular blue and a loop-de-loop -loop coloring all the way across. Now these ships come from all different countries. I'm not designating this one from anywhere special. This is just a typical cargo ship, cargo container ship. Okay? And you'll fill this in better than me. Next, <clears throat> I am going to use an orange to color in. These are lifeboats right here. I'm going to leave the main part blank. I'm going to come in with my blue and color this space blue, my windows blue, and the little top part at the top. I'm going to color this that red-violet again. Okay. Now, the most important part is the crane. So take your yellow and color this part yellow so you can see it. And this is what attaches to the container. So I'm going to make that container yellow also so it can kind of stand out. And this is what's sitting out in all the ports are these big cargo ships with all these containers that are holding goods that need to be brought in but haven't. Okay, so now these are all the containers and you can color these pretty much any color you want. I'm just going to do orange, then I've got red, and then I have my yellow again. But you can choose any colors you want. I'll make this yellow, let's make this yellow, Pretty much any colors you want. Let's put a green. And each one of these containers is filled with products. And I might do a video on products and consumers later on. But each one of these contains something that people need right now. So they were just, I was talking, uh, listening to the news and they were saying how all the holiday products are stuck on ships in the middle of uh, the outside the ports. Los Angeles has a very big port. Okay, so here's all the containers colored in. This is very important. That's your crane. And that might be all because I don't want to take away from my ship. I might add a little couple more wavy lines 
to fill in my ocean. Now, imagine outside of these ports in the United States, you look outside on the water and there's just 60 of these big cranes, big ships outside waiting to be unloaded. Well, I knew I forget something. These little goodies, these should be dark blue. Very important, this is part of the supply chain. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my cargo container ship all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.